In this video, you will learn how to find factor pairs and how to write prime factorization. What is a factor pair? Since 2 is a factor of 10 and 2 times 5 equals 10, then 5 is also a factor of 10. This pair of numbers, 2 and 5, is called a factor pair of 10. Another factor pair of 10 is 1 and 10. Let's try our first example of finding factor pairs. The brass section of a marching band has 30 members. The band director arranges the brass section into rows. Each row has the same number of members. How many possible arrangements are there? Use the factor pairs of 30 to find the number of arrangements. So 30 could be one times 30, which is one row of 30 or 30 rows of one. It could be 2 times 15, 2 rows of 15, or 15 rows of 2. It could be 3 times 10, 3 rows of 10, or 10 rows of 3. It could be 5 times 6, 5 rows of 6, or 6 rows of 5. And 30 can also be 6 times 5. Oh, but we've already used that factor pair. 5 and 6 is going to be the same as 6 and 5. So we can stop now. This gives us eight possible arrangements. Now it's your turn to try some examples. Pause the video and try these four questions, then start the video back up and see how you did. Are you ready to see the answers? The factor pairs of 18 are one and 18, two and nine, and three and six. The factor pairs of 24 are 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. The factor pairs of 51 are 1 and 51, and 3 and 17. What if the woodwind section of the marching band has 38 members? Which has more possible arrangements, the brass section or the woodwind section? Explain. Well, we could make one row of 38 or 38 rows of one, or we could make two rows of 19 or 19 rows of two, but that's really the only thing we could do with the woodwinds. So there are only four possible arrangements for the woodwinds. So the question asks, which one has more possible arrangements? It would be the brass section since they had eight possible arrangements. We're going to take that one more step and start talking about prime factorization. So here's some vocabulary you'll need to know. The prime factorization of a composite number is the number written as a product of its prime factors. That sounds pretty confusing, but when you see some examples, hopefully it will start to make more sense. You can use factor pairs and a factor tree to help find prime factorization of a number. Here's an example. Write the prime factorization of 48. To start, we need to choose any factor pair of 48 and begin a factor tree. Here's one possibility. Let's break 48 into two times 24. So you can see we have branches coming off of 48 and we put the factor pair right next to each other. So two and 24. Now two is a prime number prime number is a number whose only factors are one and itself. So two doesn't have any other factors except one and two. 24 is not a prime number. It's still a composite number, so we can still break it down farther. We could break 24 into two times 12. Again, two is a prime number, so we're going to circle the prime numbers as we go, but 12 is not a prime number. We can break down 12 into four times three. Four is not prime. We can make that into two times two. And three and the other twos can't be broken down any further. They are prime. So we have two, 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 and three. 48 is equal to two times two times three times two times two. Let's look at another possibility. We can break down 48 into three times 16 instead of two times 24. Three is a prime number, but 16 is not. 
16, we could break into 4 times 4, and neither of those are prime, but we can break both 4 and 4 into 2 times 2. So now we have 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Well, notice that both of these have 4 2s and a 3. So 48 is equal to 2 to the 4th power times 3. That's how to write a prime factorization. You find a factor pair and draw the branches. You circle the prime factors as you find them. And you find factors until each branch ends at a prime factor. Now it's your turn to try a couple problems. Pause the video, try these four problems, and then start the video back up and see how you did. Here is how to find the prime factorization of these examples. Take a moment to check your answers and see how you did. If you made mistakes, make sure you look and see what mistakes you made and fix them. Now you should know how to find factor pairs and how to write a prime factorization. Thanks for watching.